Jackson and Sam drill hard every day. We are one week away from going to Tuscaloosa County High School. I think any coach always wishes you had more time, wishes we could have ran this drill or that drill, but I really feel the kids are in a good position. I feel good about what they've learned, I feel good about how they're practicing, and I really feel strong about how we're going to perform as a team going into the tournament. All right, good. Now back up, okay, good. Now this time, Jay, get a shot. Dom, you get out. Ready? Go. Jay, shoot in. Good, Dom, put your whizzer in and finish it. Get it out, get it out, good. Get around, get your two. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, back up, back up, go, go. Now what do you want me to do, coach? I want you to wrestle and quit going to the cheerleaders. All right, uh, one point Davis locking hands, JT. Let's go! You locked hands, you locked hands. It's hard being a leader, because you have to make the decisions. Hey, I want to be their friend, but I want to make the best cheers. I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Yeah. You know, it's cool to have started this and be the first ones to do it and then know that other people are going to do it in the future. Your choice, top down, neutral, but defer. <laughs> nice. Work up. Coach Juan has made such a terrific impact. He is Dominic's dad and comes in to volunteer. He's got an excellent wrestling background from New York, which really gives our kids a well rounded approach. So just make sure when you guys are drilling that you are actually going to finish up chest to chest, you know, reposition before you. Stand up. Coach Steve has been my teammate from seventh grade all the way to my senior year. He's one of the most technical wrestlers that I've ever met, and he's been volunteering and coming out to help the kids. Sharing that experience and some of his knowledge from the mat has just been so valuable. You're right there. You want to keep that wrist, you got it. Okay? That's the only thing you're lacking. Everything else is perfect, isn't it? See that? He had a plan, and I did. So have a plan that takes, think three moves ahead. Play chess, not checkers. You got it? I'll tell you one of the great things about Coach Steve is he works over at the Hoover Library and he's great with the kids. He kind of reminds me of the guy from up at the North Pole as well. Really revitalizing because, I mean, it was a lot of the same stuff, but just the way that he explained it, it was different. It was like, just the smallest little differences as well. The biggest thing is, what's the first thing I have to do? So I keep my weights for on top of them. He makes small, tiny changes in positioning, but you wouldn't believe the big difference that these small changes can make with the kids. And I really feel he took them to another level. I know why the tongue's big louder. There is a secret that won't be mine. They're never talking till the end of time. Obviously, there's, I mean, there seems to be a lot of pain involved. 
and a lot of grit is needed, but I think too that's also needed for the spiritual life. The idea of like perseverance of like uh, perseverance and like fighting the good fight and not quitting until you get the ultimate prize, which is heaven. Especially hard because like you said, we're preparing for the tournament and exams and killing us, but you know, we just gotta balance out exams and life. Oh yeah. yeah. This week we had a parents meeting and it was really great because there's a lot of these kids that we see in practice every day, but we don't see their parents every day. So it was really nice to put names and faces together and all the parents were so wonderful and so encouraging and it was really great getting to meet everybody.